Okay, let's look at, let me peel these off. You know, if you're, if you're keeping a book, never, uh, these stickies, these post-its, never leave them in the book. Uh, after a few months, they actually leave residue on pages, um, and that can discolor and, and just be kind of nasty and sticky. So um, these are meant to be very, very temporary if you're marking up books. So just a little bit of archival uh, knowledge. It won't discolor your paper normally. Um, but just be aware that it will leave um, it will leave residue. And if you happen to discover one, you can actually take your finger and rub the residue off um, for the most part, and then take it and take another post-it and like completely remove it. So just just to be aware of that. Okay, this is 1950 to 1959, Age of the Chest. So here's William Holden and Picnic with Kim Novak and Rosalind Russell. I like Kim Novak in Vertigo. I think she's absolutely brilliant, but she's also good in is it Bell, Book, and Candle, which is sort of a Christmas movie, again with uh, Jimmy Stewart. It's, it's, they're just, those are both good. I love Vertigo. Though. So, Age of the Chess. When the GIs returned from the war, they had grown used to bonding with their buddies. A strong man, Mr. Muscles, comics, 1939, 1950. Buster Crab. Oh, well. Samson. Perfect Strong Man. And here we get some beautiful shots. Actually, this one, um, Keith Steffen, uh, 25 Bruce of uh, Los Angeles. I have the... Um, Oh, shoot. Miser often used a uh, code to discreetly describe his sexual, his subject's sexual orientation, so perhaps he is committing on the model's preferences. Um, Miser said that Keith was rough and ready type, and when he's completely cooperative, he's completely cooperative photographers, he's always anxious to get out of the studio and out into some rough action. I have the, the Pat Milo um, lithograph of this actual photo, which... I think I paid too much for it, but it is quite beautiful. He is a gorgeous man. This is Bud Counts. Lovely. I love the foot there. And this is uh, Taken on Mulholland Drive by Bruce Bellis, former Mr. America. Oh, Dick Dubois. I love Dick Dubois. I did not recognize him with the hair, though. Um, it says... There's eucalyptus trees as the smog settles gently over the San Fernando Valley. I do love the eucalyptus trees, though. Here we have Bob Miser. This is uh, Ed Fury, or Ed Holvichick. Amazing rear end. This is uh, Dale Curry. In the early years, Bob Miser was especially fond of using classical pillars and mythological allusions in his photos. That's because to justify like the perfect body was to um, to uh, give an allusion to the Greek and Roman, um, you know, perfect the ideal body. But of course, that was something else entirely. Um, let's see, this is George Elferman, Mr. America, 1950. And this is uh, George Payne, Mr. America, but was denied because of his race. Lon Hannigan, or Lon of New York, um, 1951. This is Douglas Juleff. Uh, oh, no, Douglas Juleff was Douglas of Detroit. Uh, this, oh, it's Vic Seep. Seep. V-I-C-S-E-I-P-K-E. -E. So he's the father of um, the 1980s, 1990s bodybuilder, um, Frank Seep. Um, beautiful, um, amazing uh, figure. And this is photographer Russ Warner. The model is Lee Ward. Taken in 1948. That, wow. 
Look at the chains. Good lord. Ooh. I have a mark here to make a comment. This is um, Roy Hilligan, Mr. America of 1951, by Russ Warner. He's completely naked. And being naked was quite illegal at the time. Photo marks a boundary of sorts. Photographers are willing to become more audacious because there was finally a big enough market to make the dangers worthwhile. Uh, here is, um, let's see, Russ Warner, Jack LaLanne and Jack Thomas. Elaine became a TV exercise celebrity. He said he tried desperately to suppress images like this. Bob Miser, uh, here's a Miser photograph. Miser had an extensive studio compound on 11th Street in Los Angeles, complete with swimming pool, paper mache backdrops, Greek columns, and a menagerie of animals. It was here that playful view of John Tristram, here, was taken. The British-born physique star pretends to take a sip from a fountain that spewed water into a swimming pool. Tristram came to the U.S. in 1958 and later enrolled in UCLA in the French department. But he continued to work out and have the results photographed. I marked that because, of course, I'm not a miser scholar. I'm a miser enthusiast. Um, this is a Zabo, or Irvin Ir Kozuski. Zabo is always famous for his washboard abs. This was taken in 1955 by Bruce. And then, let's see, Charles Jenkins, Zabo, and then Muscle Boy. Outdoor, let's see, uh, Bruce of L.A., Hugh Pendleton. Hugh Pendleton. And then this is Hugh Pendleton and Kim Fox. And this is Joe Christensen in a field of wild oats. Hmm. That's a tiny photo, though. Ah, uh, Steve Reeves. Uh, 1947, he won Mr. America. This photo was taken in Ed Yerrick's gym in Oakland, California. Although Steve Reeves uh, performed in several plays and TV shows, not until he appealed, appeared in Athena, a 54 MGM musical, that he attracted the attention of the world. So here we have Debbie Reynolds. Uh, oh, Dick Dubois, or Richard Dubois. A.K.A. Richard Saber, um, Edmund Purden, Purdom, and Steve Reeves. He printed to lift weights. We have this is Athena, uh, Steve Reeves, and uh, Jane Powell. Clancy Ross, that is absolutely gorgeous. Demetrius and the Gladiators, Richard Egan, Robert Mosley. Uh, was known to as Guy Madison. Uh, when Agent Henry Wilson first saw the handsome hunk, he said, Guy was Tom of Finland come to life. Hmm. Rock Hudson. Rory Calhoun is one of my favorites. Um, after a troubled youth largely spent in prison, Calhoun, whose born name was Francis McCown, uh, began his life as a hunky Hollywood bad boy star. Calhoun and Guy Madison were very close friends indeed. Hmm. This is uh, Scott Gordon, or no, Gordon Scott, and this is Roy Fitzgerald. Roy Fitzgerald was a trucker, but after he was groomed and repackaged, as a beefcake movie star, he emerged as Rock Hudson. Hudson does a bare-chested workout in 1952, doing a wimpy barbell. His real name was Roy Fitzgerald. So Rock Hudson sounds a little bit better. Oh, and there's Tab. Tab Hunter. Um, to me, Tab's a problematic character. Um, boyishly good looks. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, Tab and, and you know, I'm, I'm more of a, um, shoot, I'm trying to think, 
trying to think, of course. Um, I have his, uh, his autobiography signed by him um, before he passed. Um, but he's interesting, but problematic. Um, gorgeous when he was younger. As he got older, he was still handsome. This is Van Williams. And he was cast as a Green Hornet. Uh, with his even more famous co-star, Bruce Lee. Van Williams, Age of the Chest. This is Cheyenne Bodie and Clint Walker from Australia. Let's see, with all the hunks, Wally Cleaver, Tony Dow. Yeah, there he is again. <laughs> and this is Marlon Brando, Streetcar Named Desire. As the crude and brutish Stanley Kowalski, Brando emits a smoldering sensuality that's almost palatable. Um, have, if you've seen it, you know. Um, but like with all Tennessee Williams plays, Tennessee Williams plays, the there's this there's some sort of homosexual element, and the fact that if they realize that, it would destroy them. And for this, it wasn't them. It was her uh, Blanche's husband, who was pretty much, you know, a poof. And uh, that poof uh, killed himself, died, and now she's distraught. And so he, of course, rapes her. Tiger, tiger, tiger. Oh my God, there he is, Anthony uh, Perkins. That's what I was thinking of with Tab Hunter. They had a thing going on, Tab and Anthony. And Anthony, he tried to be straight. He even had a kid. He tried so hard. He's really a tragic character, I think. Um, this is Muscle Beach. This is Mae West and some hunks. They look like they're in diapers. That's a good bare-chested picture of uh, Anthony Perkins. This is in Desire Under the Elms, 1958. American Manhood. Yikes. What you should know about sex. Here's how you can get a power plus for Mr. America Physique. Male figure. Volume 1. Men in Arc. Hey, Physique Pictorial. It says, uh, A few men could have done more to disseminate the image of the American hunk than the editor and photographer Miser. The cover of this uh, from 1957 features art by Tom of Finland. I believe I have this one. Here we have Bob McCoon, a favorite of mine. Bob McCoon again, 53. And this is Denny Denfield. Um, Andrew Kozak's arching body echoes the adjacent carving tree trunk. Actually, I have the Denny Denfield um, book. I should show it. Um, it's out of print. It's a gift. Let's see, this is uh, Dave Martin. A photograph of Dave Martin. He pictures local athletes and college guys. This is Zara Rossi. Bud Mucci. And Western Photography Guild. Uh, this is oh, this is actually Don Whitman uh, taking. He was the photographer. Look at that Sagittarius. Good Lord, that's really uh, featuring the body of Steve Reeves, mythical uh, and carcinations. Uh, let's see. This is just showing. Three sticks of chalk. Julius Caesar. Marlon Brando. John Gilgan, who's gay. Um, Deborah Kerr, one of my favorites. She's amazing. Where's John Gilgan? I think that's him. He was key play Cassius. Uh, Spike Jones and his city slickers. And Pep. Perk up with Pep. Here is Joseph Weber of Alexandria, Virginia. Hmm. Uh, 
actor George Nader. Wow, okay, this is interesting. Okay, here's this is some of the lovely the stuff I love to get out of these books. Um, he was dogged by rumors of homosexuality throughout his career. Here, the six foot one hunk lifts weights on the back lot. After his days as a star of B films, Nader retired to Palm Strings, where he wrote Chrome, an early gay science fiction novel. I wonder if that's still out. Chrome, Nader. I'm going to look that up. Humor me while I pull out my phone. And, uh... And there it is. Wow. And it's out of print, as far as I can tell. Two hundred and fifty three uh, pages. Oh, well, let's see. Thrift Books is a place where I go a lot to get. Uh, well, looks like it might be hard to get. Well, I actually think I'll try to get it though. I do love finding these 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 hidden gems. I did had no idea. Let's see, John Bonomo. Lex Barker, Johnny Sheffield, here. Wild Bill Hickok, and Jingles. Um, Viewmaster. And Burt Lancaster. Tab Hunter was definitely swoon bait. Uh, he was the boy next door that everyone wished they lived next to. Wholesome. Hunter was also a skilled horseman. A lot of spent time working with his equine associates at the stables, L.A. Griffiths Park. Um, Fort Lancaster, Hill to Eternity. Audie Murphy, fought in World War II. He churned out over 33 westerns, including Gunsmoke. Uh, Robert Mitchum, Salminio, oh, Switchblade Kid. Um, film critic Douglas insists that Cassie Minio in Tonka ensured a homosexual subtext. Italian American actor. Hmm. So now we're getting into sort of the Hollywood. Cakes. Muscles a go go is the next chapter. Thanks for watching.